Hello, Debbie. Hello. It's been a long time. I've been waiting to hear from you. What can I... Yes, it really is me and yes, it is she. Please, let's not go into all this again. It gets very tiresome. My gender is irrelevant. It's all in your head. <laughs> mm. But I would just like to say, for the record, that I believe absolutely in equal opportunities for all. I'm committed to enabling everyone to achieve their full potential, regardless of their... Excuse me? Well, I'm very sorry it's taken so long to get through so we can have this little chat. As I always say, you just need a bit of faith and some patience and your prayers will be answered. <laughs> I know you think I have nothing else to do all day, but you know, it feels like I am single-handedly running a customer service department. Hmm. Oh, people have such high expectations. I mean, <laughs> okay. I created the world in seven days, but how you destroy it, well, that's down to you. <sighs> so, what's the problem this time? Excuse me? You want him to die? Well, everyone dies eventually. Oh, you want him to die now? Oh. I hope we're not talking about premeditated violence here, Debbie, because, you know, I'm against that sort of thing. Mm. It's part of the mission statement. Yes, a, a sniper's rifle with telescopic sights would definitely fall into that category. As would a crossbow. Or indeed, a chainsaw. As a matter of interest, why should I condone this, Debbie? Why does the bastard, your word, deserve to die? Oh, I see. He dumped you. There's a surprise. Now, I can see why you're looking for him to have a quick death, and the female part of my identity is sympathetic, but... I really can't sanction this. You have to practice what you preach. <laughs> and someone in my position can't afford to be labelled a hypocrite. Well, I'm sorry to be difficult. What did you expect? It doesn't sit well with the brand message and peace and goodwill to all men, does it? He's married, Debbie. You knew the odds were stacked against you when you decided to have a fling. Oh, you have an alternative. He could have a sudden massive heart attack. Fatal, obviously. But it wouldn't have to be that painful. Except, of course, for his wife and family. <sighs> no. This is not just about your life, Debbie. I'm afraid you can't always get what you want. <laughs> That was always one of my favourites. <laughs> Great band. <laughs> Mind you, I never liked the one about the devil. Not a very positive message, I thought. <laughs> mm. All right, I admit it. I do get tempted occasionally. You know, a bit of divine intervention. Some slight adjustments. I mean, why not? <laughs> I mean, it must be depressing for you mortals knowing there is no reset button and life is just a series of random events from cradle to grave. And there isn't a damn thing you can do about it. Unless you believe I have a purpose. <laughs> That's the line the church takes. But I can see they're having a hard time convincing people at the moment. <laughs> I suppose I should be flattered that you think I have such remarkable powers, but it isn't straightforward. Oh, did you ever see that film, Back to the Future? <laughs> Loved it. But when you alter someone's timeline, everything changes. 
what was his name? The, the young man who went back in time to find his father. Um, the, the, right. Marty McFly. Mm. Mm. No, it got very complicated, especially when he met his mother. <laughs> it all got sorted out in the end in a Hollywood kind of way. But I don't have a DeLorean. <laughs> mm. Oh, I know what you're going to say. What about It's a Wonderful Life or that recent one, La La Land? The stories could have ended differently, alternative realities, but who makes the choice? Is it me or is it you? Uh, mm. It's an easy game to play in the movies, Debbie. What might have been? In real life, it's tricky. Whatever you decide, there are always consequences. Mm. You see life as a zero-sum game. Someone has to win, someone has to lose. But it's not so simple. I mean, in the end, most people move on and have a good life. I mean, maybe not how they imagined, but things usually work out for the best. Mm. All right, I know what you're going to say. Why do I let such terrible things happen? The plane crash, the famine, the earthquake. And before you mention it, the coronavirus pandemic. How can that be okay? You want me to micromanage. I get that. You think there should be a few adjustments here and there. I understand. I really do. But why do I have to be the one to fix things when you people mess up? Do you know what it's like being the one who has to deal with all this? OK, I'll give you that one. I didn't see Donald Trump coming. I mean, everyone has a blind spot. I thought he was comical, a clown. Oh, boy, did I get that wrong. But hey. It's tough being a deity, controlling the lives of 7.8 billion people. That's right, 7.8 billion interconnected lives. You think I can keep tabs on every person on the planet, keep them all happy? Make sure nobody gets sick, nobody gets hurt. I'm not a bloody miracle worker, you know. Don't confuse me with Jesus. Mm. Look what happened with the loaves and the fishes. A popular miracle, to be sure. <laughs> a real crowd pleaser. But it didn't go down well with the local traders selling kebabs and falafels. Oh, Jesus never heard the end of it. No. Sometimes you just have to sit back and open a bottle. <laughs> hmm. You can't deny people their free will. Yes. They're going to make the wrong choice. They're going to do bad things, but they'll learn. Sometimes good things come out of bad and the world moves on. I just provide a moral compass. That's the best I can do. But nobody is ever satisfied, however hard you try. Mm. You wouldn't believe the shit I've had to put up with letting all those celebrities die. I was really sorry about David Bowie, honestly. Did you see him at Glastonbury? Oh, yes, we all need heroes. No, don't get me started on Brexit. Oh, all those Remainers moaning on because they didn't get their own way. If you're asking me, it was a stupid decision. I'm not supposed to be political. But Boris Johnson, Prime Minister? Seriously? But can I fix it? No! Brexit means Brexit. Get over it. Well, if it gets you down, don't watch the TV news. It just makes me depressed. And that Hugh Edwards seems like such a nice man. What must it be like for him? Having to sit there telling us about those terrible things night after night. Mm. Mind you, I believe he's very well paid. Mm. No, the wine.
time's run out. Look, I'm glad you got in touch again, Debbie. Well, it's been a while since we've really spoken, you and me. What was it we discussed the last time we had this converse? Oh, yes, the job. You were hoping for a promotion. But there was this other woman in the frame and she got it. The bitch, your word. I don't recall precisely what you wanted me to do to her, but it wasn't nice. So when I didn't oblige, what did you do? You found a new job and you moved on. Result! <laughs> oh yes, it's only fair to say I have had complaints about you. I'll mention just one from Susie, your BFF. Remember that time you got off with the plumber when the two of you were on holiday together in Tenerife? I won't tell you what she wanted me to do to you. It would have been anatomically impossible. But you're still here because I'm an understanding God, all-seeing, all-powerful, possessing the wisdom of the ages, but also someone who is compassionate. <laughs> so, regarding your current request... I suggest you just wait to see what happens. I see some surprising developments ahead. Goodness me, I sound like Mystic Meg, don't I? <laughs> Let's just say there could be a few little corrections in your timeline without fatal consequences for anyone else either. Yes, Debbie, I think it's time for some divine intervention. After all... Why should the devil have all the fun? <laughs> 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 <laughs>